In this simulation, we learn about how energy is stored in the elastic stretch of a bow and string. In order to pull back on the string, the archer must pull with some force. For elastic devices, like springs, rubber bands, and bows, there is a simple linear relationship between force and distance. The equation, attributed to the 17th century scientist Robert Hooke, is simple. The force required to pull back a distance x is equal to a constant k times the distance. In other words, f equals k times x. k is called the elastic constant. The higher k is, the stiffer the spring. We can pull back a distance x, and this requires a force equal to kx. If we pull back a distance 2x, a force of 2kx is required. This is twice as much force. The force required is proportional to the distance. Whenever there is a simple proportional relationship like this, we can graph it and it will make a simple line. The slope of the line is equal to the elastic constant. If we increase the elastic constant to twice its value, now 2k, the slope of the graph is twice as high. This means that twice as much force is required for each pull distance. Notice that to pull a bow with the elastic constant 2k by a distance of 2x, we need a force of 4kx. The area bounded by the force versus stretch distance line is shaded blue. It is a triangular area. We can compute this area. The area is equal to 1 half the base times the height. Here, the height is the force and the base is the stretch distance. If you calculate the area, you get the amount of work done by the archer when she pulls the bow. This is the amount of energy she has transferred to the bow. If the elastic constant is 5k and she pulls back a distance 2x, the force required is 10kx. The area bounded is 1 half times 10kx times 2x, or 1 half times 20kx squared. This equals 10kx squared. This is the work done in stretching the bow, and is therefore the potential energy stored in the bow. One way of thinking about this is that there was potential energy stored in the archer's cells in her body. She did work applying a force to the bow over some distance. Now, that energy is stored in the stretch of the bow. When the archer lets loose the arrow, it flies away with a kinetic energy equal to the potential energy stored in the bow. In this case, that is still 10kx squared. We can compute the speed of the arrow using the standard formula for kinetic energy, 1 half mass times velocity squared. The energy stored in an elastic object obeys rules that can sometimes be counterintuitive. For instance, let's compare the energy stored if we pull back by a distance of 2x to the energy stored if we pull back by a distance of 4x. We have increased our stretch distance by a factor of 2, but the energy goes up by a factor of 4. Wow! For this reason, the energy stored is not a linear function of stretch distance, but a parabolic or quadratic function. We see a curve in the right-hand graph rather than a line. If you are looking for a challenge, try making up your own realistic values for x, k, and the mass m of the arrow. Then, you can compute the speed at which the arrow should fly. Moving from equations to numbers fluently is an important skill for physics students. Play around and see what you can figure out.